I've recently been benchmarking and configuring this Windows 98 machine, which isn't really a true 98 machine. The hardware in it is more dated to about 95. However, I was wondering when looking at the results of the benchmarks, how much does it really differ from a modern day PC? namely my Ryzen 7 1700 at 3.8 GHz. So I decided on a whim and, I guess out of stupidity, to compare the two. Specifically, I'm comparing a Pentium 1 at 166 MHz to a Ryzen 7 1700 at 3.8 GHz. The Ryzen has 8 cores and 16 threads, and the Pentium has 1 core and 1 thread. The Ryzen machine has a Gigabyte Gaming K3 motherboard with 16 gigabytes of Corsair Vengeance at 3000 megahertz to make use of the Infinity Fabric. The Micron Millennia, which is the computer I have the Pentium in, has a Micron M55 High Plus motherboard, 96 megabytes of RAM, which I have no idea of the speed it's running at because it is not really telling me through software or through hardware and it has a Diamond Stealth 3D 2000 with two megabytes of video RAM. For these tests, I'm isolating the processors as much as possible, so much that I forgot to mention that my Ryzen 7 1700 machine has a GTX 970. Initially, I decided that I'd run some synthetic benchmarks along with some games. However, when I got into it, I decided that games won't really be a very good benchmark because I have to A, get games that run natively on Windows 98 and Windows 10. B, I have to make sure the Windows 10 games don't run in something like DOSBox because that really won't give me any good performance indicator. I'd also make sure that the games I had would support software rendering to isolate processor performance. And I had to make sure that the games I was going to use had no frame rate cap so that I could get an accurate performance reading and not just pegged at 60 for my Ryzen and running at like 20 frames for my Pentium. I took a look on the internet and on Wikipedia for games that were released in mid to late 90s that would have a software render and that would also run in that software render on my Pentium 166. I then took the results of that into PC Gaming Wiki where I took a look to see if it had a frame rate cap. If it didn't have a frame rate cap, I then downloaded it to see if it would run on my Windows 10 machine. After 30 or 45 minutes of looking for games that fit that criteria, I didn't find anything so I decided to just stick with synthetics as this was a pretty impromptu video and wasn't really that relevant because the video has no relevance whatsoever except to satisfy my morbid curiosity as to the performance difference between a Ryzen 7 1700 and a Pentium. So all in all, the only synthetics that would work on both my Ryzen Windows 10 machine and my Pentium Windows 98 machine were PC Mark 2002 and CPU-Z. CPU-Z specifically because they finally released a backwards compatible version, I guess you'd say, for Windows 98 with version 1.78, which is actually pretty recent. I really wanted to go with something like Cinebench 2003 because you get a really nice good visual representation of the benchmark running. However, it would not run on my 98 machine, but it would run on my Windows 10 machine. In PC Mark 2002, my Ryzen scored 13,446, and the Pentium, 313. So yeah, you can see the huge gamut between performance for the two. In CPU-Z, the multi-threaded performance for my Ryzen was a 4,687.7, single-threaded was a 437.4, the Pentium multi-threaded performance scored a 5, and the single-threaded Ali scored a 6. Interestingly for the Pentium, the multi-threaded performance was worse than the single-threaded performance. However, this just seems to be within the margin of error as the Pentium has one core and one thread, and occasionally it would be the inverse as well. The multi-threaded performance would score a little higher and the single-threaded performance would score a little lower. It just seems to be affected by whatever background processes are running on the system at the time of the benchmark. So a 16 thread processor clocked at 3800 megahertz from 2017 thrashes a single thread processor from the mid 90s clocked at 166 megahertz. A pretty unsurprising outcome and that's it for this video. Um, it's been pointless. Thanks for watching.